Hi, my name is Martin and I'm one of the guys working on creating the bulletins in Alpha Frontal. The first thing to do after receiving your username and your password is to go to our website and see our guides. To see these user guides, you can go to electropartner.com and you go to products and choose Alpha Frontal. Now you scroll down and you choose the user guide. In here you have the guides for all the options available for Alpha Frontal. There are many ways to find information inside of Alpha Frontal. So to make sure that you benefit from all the information stored in there, I highly recommend you to see these guides. Also, I've worked on the floor as a mechanic for 18 years, so I know that time is always short. That is why I have prepared some short videos for a maximum of 5 minutes that I also recommend you to go through. Now as you learn all the features of Auto Frontal, you will always look up all the cars that you get into the workshop as the first step in any work task. We call that spending your first minute wisely. Therefore it would make good sense to create a fixed desktop icon. And here's how we do it. We recommend that you use the Google Chrome browser. You log into autofrontal.com. Now you want to type in your username and your password and don't forget to sign the remember me. On the top right you will find the little plus sign. You want to click on that and press install. Afterwards you close your browser and you will find a shortcut on your desktop for Auto Frontal. Now you also have the possibility to create a shortcut for Auto Frontal on your phone. This way you always carry the information with you. Depending on what type of phone you have, you can find a guide for this on our website along with all the other guides. You can here see an example of how to install the shortcut on an iPhone. And now I'm gonna demonstrate just how easy it is to use on your phone. You press the shortcut. Now you enter the license plate on the vehicle. And choose the proper option. And go to the bulletin section. And now you wanna use the search engine and type in whatever symptom or fault code you are searching for. And here's the bulletin that was found for this specific fault code on this specific vehicle. It is important to understand that Autofrontal is a software program designed to find bulletins, also referred to as TSPs. It is not a substitute for technical data programs such as Autodata or Hanes Pro. The great thing is that with Autofrontal you have one platform to search for all the car brands running in Europe. The thing is that our hotline at ElectroPartner, they handle more than 40,000 cases a year. This is cases from professional workshops who has several data programs, they have several diagnostic tools and still they need some sort of information to solve the task. Often this information is experience with a specific product. We analyze these questions and we find the questions that we have the most and then we think what kind of information did the workshop need to solve this task themselves. And then we create a bulletin based on that. Now I want to finish this video with a question that I often get. Do we need to have another subscription on another data program when we already have access to plenty? And my answer is this, I think you do. Otherwise, we wouldn't have all the questions in our hotline. And I think Auto Frontal is most likely the cheapest of your subscriptions. Think about the last time you had an intermission fault or perhaps a fault that took you a long time to find. Did you earn a lot of money on this case? My experience is that it's hard to charge a customer for more than 3 hours of diagnose. 
So think about how many hours you could have saved if you knew what the probable cause of this fault was. And this is what outer frontal is all about. It's about starting your diagnose in the right end using others' experience. And it's like they say, that the worst case scenario for a mountaineer who suffered tremendous effort on reaching the mountaintop to plant his flag is to discover the footprints of someone else. Having worked on an OE dealership, we had the OE bulletins and they have saved me a lot of time. The problem is that OE bulletins mostly apply to newer cars with a low mileage. Outer frontal also supports old cars with a high mileage. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to watch the next video where I will explain you how to find the bulletins in Outer Frontal.